I actually have another little visual here for you. So what this is supposed to look like is there's a plane. And I don't know why they make these clear, but they do. There's a plane and then there's like supposed to be like this little prism-like thing of sitting on top. So like this is what it's supposed to look like, that this is sitting on top of a plane. So the question is, how many planes are shown in that figure? What you guys get? Six. Yeah, go ahead. Six. Think six? Yeah, what do you think? Five? That's you're, five. you're thinking five. So six would be as if this was hovering above. But it's supposed to be right on that plane because it's kind of drawn in it. So there's the bottom plane, so like the yellow sheet. The top would be two. And there's only three sides on that, one, two, three. So that would be five total planes. So but I know it's trying to get used to like visualizing what's going on in these drawings. So that'd be five. How many of the planes contain points F and E? Has to contain both of them. F and E. So if like I picked two of these corners, so look I'm talking about like two of these corners here. Oh, no, no, that's hard to see. Yeah, what do you think? Two of them. Two of them. Yeah, so this top one would include that, and then this one on the side here, they both would include those, like, those two parts. So that's A2. All right, this next one probably has three separate answers you could have, so we only want one of them. Four points that are coplanars. Anyone think they have four that are coplanar? Yeah, go ahead. I said, uh, do you know what the name is? Sure. Just like the four letters. E, D, C, and B. Okay, so E, D, B, e, and C. So he chose the points on this plane over here. So you could have also said F, E, A, B, and then, or the back one, F, D, A, C, right? Any of those four sides, or three sides there. And then it asks our points A, B, and C coplanar. Are they coplanar on the same plane? No. Yeah, they're all sitting on the bottom of that plane. So they're all sitting flat on the bottom. So yes. Okay. So they're all on plane W. All right. We are actually going to stop right now. So um, a lot of times when we run out of time, um, and it's fine today because of just you know, first day stuff, um, we have about 15 minutes or so to go. Um, maybe not, well, maybe 20. 20. Um, but I'm okay with that, because I'm okay with you guys kind of figuring out what we need and if we need textbooks or anything like that. Um, I was going to hand out the syllabus today. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Um, basically, it's telling you to do your homework. Um, so um, since we didn't get to all of these notes, I'd like to alter the homework, which I mean by alter, I mean I'm shortening it. Um, and I believe we can just do the first half, but let me double check real quick. And I'll show you guys where you can find all this in a second here. So, let me check here. So if you want a book, you can have one, and I'll get you guys that in a minute. Um, those of you guys who are online, if you want a book, there's one in the office for you with your name on it. Um, yeah, I think we just want to do the first half here. So, oh, I think I just need to tell you guys one more vocab um, word is raise. So before I, I stop you for today, sorry, let me just get another vocab word. So if you have some space here somewhere, do you guys have Ray written somewhere? I don't think so. I don't think I fixed that on the notes. So the word Ray. So somewhere we have some space, we want to write Ray down. A 
ray is basically what it's like. So you think of a ray of sunshine. It, uh, like, so um, it goes like, or like a ray gun. So something that comes out. Um, it basically is that it has one endpoint, but then it goes forever in, in only one direction. then you guys should be good with your, like being ready for your notes for today, uh, or for your homework. So what we're gonna do for homework is we're gonna shorten it. We're just gonna cut it in half. So if you go to your homework, which is at the end of your note sheet, we're just gonna do this for Tuesday. And we're gonna wait on the second half. Yes? Are those like uh, online? Yes, so I'll, I can show you guys real quick, but um, so I do upload these pictures online. So these, um, these book pages are already uploaded online on Schoology, um, and you can pull that up. Otherwise, if you want a textbook, I have them, and you can check, I just need to write down like what number you're taking. Um, but otherwise, if you go to Schoology, let me pull this up quick. Oops, that's not Schoology. So if you go to Schoology, and if you're ever looking for what we're doing for the day, you go into your courses, same as most classes, but it'll always say over on this side what's due for tomorrow, and I'm gonna fix this. So it'll say due Tuesday, and this is here, and then the book is here, and you just click on it, and it'll open up as a PDF, so like, um, you'll get the images. And I, I put the whole section in here, so that way you guys can see their notes as well. And you go to the end and that's where the homework starts at like page five. So you don't need a textbook if you decide you don't want one. If you want one, you're welcome to check one out. You can change your mind um, midway through, you know, like in a week you might decide you want one. Um, but if you don't want one, perfectly fine. It's all online for you. So again, we're just doing the first half today um, and we'll wait on the second half. Is that okay? Does that seem clear? Oh, and real quick. So for your homework, when you guys come to class tomorrow, you can just have this on loose leaf. You do not need to upload it unless you're virtual. If you're virtual, then you need to upload it in the little assignment, like on Schoology, you'll take a picture of it. Those of you guys who are here, you'll just wanna do your work on loose leaf or on notebook paper, um, and I'll just check it tomorrow. So um, you'll keep it with you. So. If you want to put it in um, a spiral notebook, you'll keep it in your stuff so that you have that. Um, I don't need it turned in to me. Unless you're virtual, then you have to turn it in online. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. May I go to Yes, sir. You may. All right. So I'm going to stop the video here. <laughs>